rock the disco tech with the rec flow. Yeah, it's like, all right, check it out, y'all. All right, so now we have traveled up from the bottom of the tree to the top. And we arrive at the highest level of man's spirit. Right, much like a student matriculates from grade one to the next, to the next, to the next, right? To understand what Osir is, you may also study its complement, Oset, and its opposite, which is Geb. Right? Um, where at Oset, we get those things that give us our personality, right? What we like, what we don't like, what we find pretty, find ugly, what we prefer or are comfortable with, you know what I'm saying, and devoted to. You know what I mean, based upon our natal planetary stuff. You know what I'm saying here at Oser, we have transcended our you know little astrological limitations and things. You know, we have no dislikes, no likes, no preferences, no prejudices. Perfect neutrality um, based on our identification with our essential nature. Right, and the source that created us, which is no thing. Amen. Nebuchadnezzar, right? The Lord of all. I don't say we are in the middle of the movement versus to the left or to the right of it. There is detachment from the world and worldly ways. We're at perfect peace. Right? Whereas Geb is the seed of the animal and man, the physical body. Right, the breathing beast, right, with its sensualism and emotionalities and whatever. Right, this is the sphere of divinity, the God aspect of man. Right, what made the comedics great was their understanding of who and what they are walking around on this planet. <clears throat> I mean, the most fundamental of the teachings is that man is a vessel for the creator to insert its consciousness in order to have experience of the objective plane of reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that the purpose of life is to gather up the lessons of the experiences we live over lifetimes in order that we may remember our godhood. Right? If we remember in the story, after Set chopped up the body of Osir, it was Oset, man's memory and sense of devotion, who gathered up the pieces and brought them back together. Right? She remembered him. Right? Um, you know, in coming to Earth and taking on a body, we make a plunge. You know what I'm saying? We go under to a great degree. We agree to put on an Earth suit that comes with sensual conditionings. You know, we're exposed to various levels of emotionalism associated with the astrological cycles and, you know, the physical, you know, body and whatnot, right? You know, these condition us in a certain way, you know? Um, life is about eventually nullifying all that which is superimposed upon it, right? Your original nature, you know what I'm saying, you know, is the God. You know, remembering the God within is the whole purpose, right? Life with all of its twists and turns, pleasures and pains, is a game of spiritual development. You know what I'm saying? Cam it. Where else can you go? What other philosophy or theology gives you such a direct, clear, concise understanding of who we are? You know what I mean? What life is, you know? You know, genius, right? The story of Osir. The baddest story ever told. You know what I mean, y'all gotta go back and peep out that video. The story is the illest thing ever, cause it's the blueprint, right? It's the whole blueprint of the workings of your spirit. You know, right? It shows you what you must do, you know, how you must go about the work of replacing the devil within with the indwelling divinity. You know, what are the spiritual books or systems give you that? The story represents the oldest intact lessons on spiritual development. 
You know what I mean? You know, we all know that the further back you go in history, the closer you get to the original truth. Um, the simpler things get. You know, before Kemet, all we have the creation myths from Sumer. You know, without any true teaching on man's faculties, you know, and spirituality or whatever. Right? So, you know, this is a jewel. Y'all gotta peep that. Right? So, Osir is the embodiment of all the deities. Right. It's the command center, you know, who says, we need Haruka Huchi on deck immediately. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is, you know, oh, no, they, they, they crying. We got to get all set up in here, you know. Um, you know what I mean? Osir is the unity of your spirit, right? You know, um, the, the faculties, they all have contradictory agendas. You know, you know, Sebek just wants to hear himself talk. To who he would rather he shut up. You know what I mean? Sekar just wants Heru to go put some clothes on. Heru wants to lead you. Set wants to pimp you out. Harukti wants to just fight something. You know what I'm saying? You know, when Osir is awakened and put on the throne, you know, makes man, makes, you know, everybody attend to their job. You know, we get order, we get unity. Unity is the pulling together of resources for the sake of building something. Or just for the GP of, you know, we're a family, we're a group, you know, this is our purpose. You know, so unity is divine, right? Unity is God, right? You know what I'm saying? What, if unity is divine, then what does that make disunity, you know? What are we doing when we purposely separate ourselves from one another, you know? I'm not speaking about in the case where those in power seek to control or, you know, oppress other members of society. You know, in the case of oppression, it's necessary to regroup, you know, in private, you know what I mean, plan, plot, strategize what we're going to do. You know, I'm talking about those of us who say, you know what I mean, I don't F with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't like him. You know what I mean? He make me sick. You know, niggas ain't shit. You know what I mean? I keep to myself. You know what I mean? Or, you know, where the ego prevents you from unifying with your brother. You know, you're afraid he or she gonna outshine you or whatever. You know, remember, set is self seeking. You know what I mean? Works to gratify the personal yearnings and desires or whatever. It's the animal, you know. So, so this unity is evil. You know what I'm saying? Now, that being said, you know, our people, you know, especially those that subscribe to the teachings of the white man is the devil and all of that. Y'all got a reason to pause now because at least he can unify, which is an expression of God. What about you? You know what I'm saying? Can you express God in this way? You know what I mean? You know, I know that you can. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I'm just asking you to ask yourself, you know. You know, I know we're coming from a deficit, you know what I'm saying? We have slavery, you know what I mean? We've been conditioned to act in a certain way, you know? But it's about time in the game that, you know, we get above that, you know? Basically, it's been branded, you know, we see what it is. It's time to come above it. We got no more excuses, you know? So at Osir, we're not merely speaking of religion, you know, this is a spiritual sense of personal wholeness, right? Rather than a dogmatic following of precepts, you know, at Osir, you are the religion wherever you go. You know, this is the piece of the puzzle that many of us in today's, you know, conscious movement aren't getting, you know. Some of y'all think that being awake is just about you know, I hate the white man. You know, it's about much more than that. You know, I mean, we got this knowledge and we got that knowledge. You know, how about the acknowledgement of divinity in one's fellow man by seeking to unify is the true knowledge of self. You know, you know, I mean, to to know God is to know that essentially, meaning at the essence of the being, there's only one spirit walking around on the planet having different simultaneous incarnations of a particular stage of development. You know what I mean? How can God have enemies? You know, if you're, if you're God, think about that. If you're God, you created everything from a bitter you. How can you now have an enemy 
Haruka Huti can have an enemy. You know what I'm saying? Haruka Huti can go in a fight. But see, that's why Sphere 5 is not Sphere 1. You know what I'm saying? To have to actually have enemies is to indulge self-hatred, you know, to on some level. You know. The law of Osir is that there is nothing against me. You know, I don't have enemies. I only have little brothers, little sisters who, you know, they don't like me because they just gotta grow a little bit more. I mean, I am of Amen, you know, a peace that nothing can disturb, you know what I'm saying? You know, some of us are older than others, you know, hence, you know, a more advanced karma applies, you know. There are so many of our folks walking around who are ignorant of self-knowledge, you know what I mean? They actually hate themselves, you know, they hate their lives, they hate their people, and all this is due to, you know, their conditioning. But, you know, a greater way of understanding this whole life struggle, you know, the racial dichotomy, poverty and all of that, is to understand, it's like, you know, you gotta think about school, you know? The older and more advanced you are, you know, along the curriculum, the harder, the more crucial the lessons of you and your peers, you know? We don't place the third grader in the 12th grade SAT test, you know what I mean? So it's a wonder, you know, why you see melanated folks all over the planet enduring the harshest challenges. You know what I'm saying? Challenges that also include the reaping of things sowed. You know, we're not the only folks that was ever enslaved. You know what I mean? In fact, <laughs> the word slavery comes from Slavic, right? You know, like the Slavs of Europe. You know, seek out the European uh, family coats of arms. Right, check out JJ J. A. Rogers, Nature Knows No Color Line, and also uh, Sex and Race, I think it is, volumes one and two by J. J. A. Rogers. Right, peep out the whole story of the history that they ain't gonna tell you in school, right, about how the Moors ruled over Europe with an iron fist, you know, at the same time contributing to their whole quote unquote renaissance, you know what I'm saying, all the while slaving up everything, you know what I'm saying. Not just in Spain, you know what I mean? You get coats of family arms from Germany, Ireland, you know what I'm saying? All over Europe, you know what I mean? England, you know what I mean? All over the place. Like, they was walking around there, gripping up and ruling everything, you know what I mean? For, from about what? I think it was like 700 to about, like halfway into the 1500s. Yeah, so, you know, so like I said, black folks weren't always at the bottom. You know, we got a long history. And we racked up a lot of debts along the way that got to be paid back. You know what I mean? And it's nothing personal. This is life. You know? So be proud of your melanin. You know what I mean? It represents nothing less than a badge reporting your spiritual age on this planet. You know what I mean? In existence. You know what I mean? You're supposed to rock that. You know? Like a fresh pair of Louis or some Gators or something. You know what I'm saying? some two thousand dollar jordans you know what i mean that's that melanin that black that you got you know what i mean and there's plenty of us on the planet who wouldn't have it no other way you know what i mean so you know we know something that y'all don't know you know and, and all y'all who waste your time and your peace on hating the white man yo it's it's a level of development you know what i mean like we all gotta go through it i was there you know what i mean but if you focus on growing your spirit you realize that none of that is to be taken personal, you know? You know what I mean? Not saying don't defend yourself because of all the love of we all want people, whatever. No, I'm not saying that, you know what I mean? Defend yourself against injustice, you know what I mean? I'm saying that hate is beneath you as God, right? You know, correct them where they need it, you know what I mean? But don't delay your true awakening by indulging hate, you know? You know, life is... This is a hollow deck, you know what I mean? To grow you, you know? Don't take the experience personal. Don't beat up the machine. You need it for your growth, you know? So, the Osir card, right? Is reminding you of who you are, right? It's asking you to check yourself for where you're caught up in preferences and prejudices, you know? What's your unity game about? You know, what's your spirituality game about? You know, what are you identifying with as yourself? 
your neighborhood, you know, your race, you know, your gender, your hair color, you know, your eye color, your Jordans, you know what I'm saying, or God, you know. The negativities at Osir, you know, or when you see others against you, you know, even when they think that they're your enemy, you know, um, you get in Osir and it's saying, you know, be whole, you know, deal with this situation but do so from an understanding that the situation is not against you, you know, as you were made in the likeness of God. Nothing can be against you, you know. Okay, so, so, let's see. Also, negative Osir is saying that you're separating from others, right? And, or you're failing to be neutral in the situation, right? You're allowing yourself to be pulled and pressed, um, oppressed by your attachment to it. Don't mistake aloof for detachment. I'm not talking about, you know, emotionally cold, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, you know, like, you know, emotionally cold, like, oh, that's how you're going to act? Okay, well, I'm going to act like this now, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm stay over here now because you acting dumb like that. You know, you know, detachment means that there's no emotion to what you're, you know, the way you're responding. You're doing so from peace. Now, oh, that's how you're going to act? Well, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get over it one day. You know, I still love you. You my family. Unattached to the situation. You know, unattached to the reaction of the other. You know what I mean? You know, so Osir is the ultimate freedom to be all things. So it's not some naive, you know, pushover thing, you know. It's an elevated disposition, you know what I mean? You know, how my man Kwali said it, yo, even if I gotta dead you, yo, it's only cause I love you. Like, that's, that's real, you know what I mean? That's the lofty ideal, you know? So, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. So, I'm gonna get back at y'all in the Amen stage.